to my channel. This time it's only a short video. I just want to show how to power up an amplifier, any car amplifier, uh, in a safe way. Um, this amp has not been used since 1998. It's possible that there are some defects. There are two ways you can power up this amp in a safe way. Uh, the first way is uh, using a power supply where you can limit the current. The second way is to use an inline fuse of around 10 amps or 5 amps and this is limiting the current that is going into the amp and if you connect the amp to a battery and you don't know if the amp is working or not, the battery can deliver a lot of current that can cause more damage and can destroy all transistors, output transistors, power supply transistors and I going to limit the current and I show you how it's done. I just turn on my power supply and I adjust the voltage. Yeah, I use around 13 volts, 13.3. And then I can adjust the current, but nothing happens now. I connect one cable and short the outputs of the power supply. So it's, it's uh, adjusted to 6.9 amps, that's too much. I think I'm going to limit the current by 3 amps. And that should be okay, around 3 amps. I disconnect it. And when I now connect the amp um, to my power supply, I expect the amp is pulling a current of around 1 amp, maybe a little less around 0.8 or 0.9 and this is an indicator that the amp is working correctly because uh, idle current will increase a lot if something is wrong in the amp. So I remove the caps and uh, will connect the amp to the power supply without a fuse because I limited the current by 3 amps and nothing should happen there. 3 amps cannot kill the whole amp. So connections are made and now I'm going to take my remote cable and plug it into the remote jack. It just idles at a half amp, 0.5. This is okay and you can see the LED of the amp is turning on and a half amp is not much. Uh, it will change a little bit and uh, this indicates the amp is working correctly. There is no defect on the amp. I recommend this uh, if you buy a used amp. I would always do it in this way because if you connect the amp to a battery or just in your car system and you connect the remote, it's possible that your battery is damaging the amp much harder. If you find this useful, or you like this video just leave a thumb and see you next time with more interesting videos. Bye!